Hi, my name is Brian and today I'm just going to take you guys along for my adventures in finishing sheetrock. Um, so the first thing I need to do is I need to um, sand some of this uh, material here and get ready for another skim coat. So I'm working in a stairway today from where I'm standing here to the ceiling is 15 feet. So I've got a couple of adjustable ladders that I'll be using. Um, and uh, Anyway, I'm going to start by, uh, I think I'm going to hand sand this stuff. Um, there's not that much of it, and um, it would be really difficult to use the uh, uh, powered sander on the stairs because I'd have to drag the vacuum in. It's just, it'd be a nightmare. I have this, you know, trusty uh, sandpaper holder, and uh, I'm just going to get to it. So there's more than one way to knock the high spots off. You can also do it with a, a knife or a spatula. And so with the corners, this is a particularly fast way to do this. Because the mud doesn't stick as well to the corners. You just kind of come along and scrape it and it'll just fly off here. But I've got a lot of mud up here. Oh, yeah, let me adjust the camera. Way faster than sanding it by hand. Still needs to be touched up, but. Makes this corner sanding way, way easier. Now, this might be a little easier with a second person, but I'm not so sure about that. It's a... It's a heavy ladder. And um, no matter where you're at, you're kind of in the way. So it's always harder to work up on a ladder, so I'll actually start with the spatula because it makes very fast work out of any bumps. And my goal is just to knock off all the high spots. I need to put another coat of mud on this window. You know, and I'm going to texture this, so, um, you know, it needs to be good enough for texture, but it doesn't need to be perfect because, again, it's going to get textured. 